Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim! I'm Kamchak Fisco. Come and join me for an epic adventure! Alright, so we... There was, like, a dude over here to talk to that when I was testing the audio out that, like, was... I think important. you're all right. Nope, in fact, it's I'm not you. Impressed how well you're doing Something now. I can help nope, with? it's not you. you just want just to talk. Keep it between us. Well, my, my timing's always been horrible, Sai, but apparently you, you, like, mesh with it perfectly. There's a, who's it talking to? If you want to be a man, no, you're literally the guy I was just talking like to. Me. It's not you. I can get you there. Hey, hey! I want to talk to you now. This guy. This is a conversation I haven't had. Here we go. I joined so up with them clan. maybe ten years ago. Small clan, maybe twenty men. We'd raid villages, rob caravans, but it was always about the killing for them. Well, I'm glad you're at least feeling better, Sai, because that's, like, super important. But not for you? Don't get me wrong. The first few years with that clan were some of the best years of my life. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. What changed? We raided a caravan one spring. I think it was a few wagons with some farmers moving to a new village. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and the children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek, he ordered us to kill the rest. You never had to do that before? No. We usually let them go. I refused to do it, and Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. Luckily, I had made some friends with the clan who immediately sided with me. We tore each other to pieces. After it was over, those of us that remained simply went our separate ways. Damn. And Garthek? I left his head on a pike at the wreckage of the caravan. Good man. I never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on just like I did. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I had to take a week off just because of, you know, jumping in too hard, doing too much at once. Go okay, so... Well, I'll do that. I... <laughs> what the hell is our quest? Wait, map. Map's how we get to it. Uh... To a journal, G. I'm so used to playing everything else now. Uh, meet the Standing Stone. Trinity restored. Burglary job. Oh, right. We were, we were, like, finishing up the quest. We'll go back and do the side stuff later on. I might... Yeah, we'll do it later on. Let's let's finish this arc, because it's, like, cliffhanging right at the end. A uh, little frazzled, because I knew Twitch was uh, failing, uh, like, 30 minutes before I was about to go live. It just crapped out like a huge chunk like a majority of their American servers just down all the streamers went down I don't know if all of them did but most of them did um I'd like to leave please most of the streamers ended up going down so it's like oh great so this is going to transition into me streaming this, this, this is wonderful this is great I, I already had to see some other friends that were streaming and their streams prematurely because of it it's just like that's eh, not good but it seems to be okay question mark so we'll see I mean, it can't be any worse than the streams where my ISP was crapping out and, you know, for five minutes at a time, we'd lose connection. I'd have to, you know, wait for my internet to start working again before we could actually connect because the whole overload is everybody's on the internet for the pandemic and our system is honestly not designed to handle this, no matter how much they claim it is because, you know, hey, it's America. My ISP's cut corners. <laughs> okay. I don't even know what resolution I'm in. I think I'm in 1440 by 900. It's some freaky ass resolution that's being stretched for you all. Because there is no 16 by 9 in the window mode, and if I go full screen, I lose screen space that I can't afford to lose. I have not ridden my horse in a while. Good God, that's a giant horse. Alright, so wait, where the hell am I going? Where's my waypoint? Wait. No, I need the world map. Stop that. Go away. Uh. I'm here. Where the hell are we going? Am I not going? Oh. Oh, it's down here by the Shadowstone. Oh, okay. Hey, Zerlis, how's it going? So we need to hook around town and get over there. For once, I'll take the horse instead of fast traveling. Because, why not? Horse scares the hell out of me all the time, and we never even ride the damn thing. So it's like, well, let's go ahead and ride the horse. I'm sure he feels left out by now. Yeah, I miss seeing all you guys online too, Sai. It was uh, 
Taking a week off was good for my mental state, but it, it sucked for my socializing, and I missed a lot of people, because I took a break from Twitch as well, for the most part. Our horse does not like staying on the ground. He likes to, to float a lot. It's, just, it's interesting. Snowshod Farm. That's a name. Hold up, horsey. I gotta go kill a thing. That's very rude, sir. Not so tough now, are you? Why did he have books? Did he eat books? Hey, buddy. Yeah, because I, I jumped in doing uh, too many uh, too, too many streams. Well, not too many streams. I, I didn't have a problem with the amount of streams. It was as long as they were running and then me trying to edit them after the fact. I found ways to optimize that so it'll make it a lot easier for YouTube. But it's just like the fact that I'm also not able to make content strictly for YouTube anymore because I, I just do not have the time honestly really sucks. So it's just like, where the hell is my waypoint? Wait, did I? Oh, my God. I did. I, I, I manually marked this waypoint, didn't I? No, that's a manual waypoint, but I'm confused. I'm supposed to go here, right? Did we overshoot the stone by a week and a half? Oh, it's up the mountain, that's why. Okay. Come on, horsey, we can do this. Scare him up the hill. Yeah, everything's okay. I just needed some time. I just needed a week. Kill the troll! I just saved your lives. Why are you giving me shit? I'm on your side. Oh well, I'll take your loot then. Guess that's it. I honestly, I would not be surprised. Oh, the new one? You get the new God of War? I would not be surprised if the horse can go up an insanely steep slope. Definitely steeper than us. Sorry, I'm used to Red Dead, but the horse interaction is much more fluid, so this is like throwing me. I'm guessing... Well, no, this is a dragon, like, burrow or whatever the hell they're called. Hi, why are you hostile? Thanks for the meat, I guess? Where the hell is this thing? You're saying it's right here. Is it a place I haven't been to? Is that why? Free horse armor. <laughs> I don't think I've been to this destination. I think that's what's going on. I thought I had been, but I guess I haven't. Never should have come. Here. Nope. Never have. Okay, because that just popped. Bye bye. Shouldn't lose your head, dude. It's, it's kind of foolish of you. All right, so it's right over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm still a huge fan of both Oblivion and even Morrowind. I, I have some insane mods for both of those that I can't wait to get into after we're done playing this. Nightingale Hall. I'm glad you're here. Whoa, hi, where'd you come from? Wait, you literally spawned in front of me. What the hell? <laughs> Carlia, just... Mouse, stop. Stop. Let me look at these people. Okay, what's the significance of this place? This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. What kind of an edge? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Uh... Okay, the mountain just opened. Tell me about the Nightingales. Mercer Frey and I were once members of what's known as the Nightingale Trinity. The Trinity disbanded 25 years ago when Mercer Frey betrayed us by slaying Gallus and dumping his body in the ruins of Snowvale Sanctum. Were they part of the Thieves' Guild? Indirectly. The Trinity is usually selected from the ranks of the Guild, although its existence is a closely guarded secret. What is their purpose? The Nightingales protect the Temple of Nocturnal, a place known as the Twilight Sepulchre. <clears throat> what is the Nocturnal? She's the mistress of night and darkness and the patron of every thief in Tamriel. I've never met a thief that worshipped anything. Nocturnal isn't one for worship and reverence. There are no priests and no sermons, no services and no arms. She influences our luck and in return demands payment. Sounds like a guild contract. You're closer to understanding than you realize. The only difference is she doesn't demand payment in the traditional sense. And sometimes the cost can be quite high. Whether you know it or not, Nocturnal dictates how well we perform as rogues. 
I have my skill, not powers or magic. Again, you have to think differently. Haven't you ever noticed how our luck behaves? Like a novice picking an impossible lock, or a blind man suddenly turning to face you as you reach for his pocket? It's through these subtle means that Nocturnal influences us. Sounds like she just likes to, to suffer. Nocturnal's whim is the greatest mystery to everyone. There have been volumes written on the subject. Does she exact payment when we die? When we suffer, does she revel in our misery? No one knows. The return certainly seems worth the risk, though. Okay. Am I to become a Nightingale? Whoa, what do you... Um, hello? Stop with the mouse. It's my hope that you will, yes. This way, please. I, we, we had another conversation. Lady, we're not done! He's just ahead. Please, keep following. I had another choice. I feel I was gypped. Okay. I'm just as puzzled as you lot. Gee, thanks for the constructive contribution to the uh, conversation. I'm going to go now. Um, can we, like, oh, okay, there's a door here. I'm like, I can't see shit. I got to pull the lantern out. It's not very a thief thing to do, but I don't care. Oh, never mind. It's bright as day in here. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped avert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Brynjolf? I can almost hear brow furrowing. <laughs> I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm, not, I'm certainly not religious. Why the hell's me? going on with the audio? This isn't about religion, Brynjolf. It's business. Okay, hold up. I need to check something. Something's off here. Audio? Nope, that's not where it is. Was it mod configuration? No, those are those. Um, it's being weird. It's like cutting it out. It's like acting like it's on surround sound or some shit, but it's not. It's literally in stereo mode. That's strange. I don't know why it's doing that. So just like walk in front of y'all and wait. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside in over a century. Now, if you'll both proceed to the armory to don your nightingale armor, we begin the oath. We begin the oath, huh? I'm, I don't know why the audio is cutting out. It's I'm pretty damn sure everything's set to stereo mode. Hey, Jane, how's it going? Hey, have you had a chance to work on your character at all since last night? Purloin shadows at it. What the hell did I just pick up and from where? Um, depending on um, Annie, are you still there? Annie, 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 Annie. Any, any, any. <laughs> uh, Wednesdays and Fridays are the days that I stream. I'm actually checking to see if uh, I'm a wizard. I'm, I'm. Well, I mean, I do have magic, so I guess technically I'm part wizard. I'm Gale stone armor. I, I guess I'm wearing the stone armor. Nightingale armor. Nightingale armor. I'm assuming I need to wear this during this encounter because it's like the whole ritual thing. Too much crap! You know the sad part is? Off camera, I went in and got rid of most of my excess stuff. Oh, I'm in the wrong category. No wonder there's so much shit. My bad. I actually went through and dumped most of my inventory. So when I'm looting shit, it should be like stupid fast now. Because I'm not carrying, you know, 47,843 items like I was. I, it, okay, so there's downsides to using a, an unlimited weight mod, okay? I've, I've, I found out there's downsides to it. <laughs> Wait, is that the chest? That's the chest. Aha. So yeah, they open really quickly now. I just need to remember to intermittently unload shit. So this is like an actual like training facility and whatnot. Interesting. I'm sure, I check my keys. Uh, I honestly don't know what keys I can toss, or I really, really would, because I've, I've got, like, an ungodly amount of keys. I've got, like, all of these, and I don't know which ones I can toss out. It's 1,000 a single key, and it lags your game. Okay, so, 
yeah, if I ever get more than a single key, I'll actually put it in a particular storage base on the Dwemer airship. But so far, I've only uh, ever picked up like two or three. I haven't run into that one, but I never carry more than one of any key. So there is that. Okay, I'm wearing my fancy armor. I want to see what my armor looks like. Thank you. Well, aren't we spiffy? Okay, lass. We've got these get-ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, the, but becoming a nightingale? You, that was never discussed. That was the same Mercer, bug that was happening to Tom. We must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. But... In return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means hey, the end of Mercer going? Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Uh, I, I know you can't be a werewolf and a vampire at the same time, but you can, like, be part of all the other guilds simultaneously, I believe. Because they don't technically conflict with each other, as long as you have the skills to do them. And I have a character that's completely maxed out, so I'm able to join every guild. I guess I'm ready. Good. After have all, you the brainwash? Jeez, in the Western Circle. Thank you, sweet Killer, for the bits and the heart failure. Yeah, we're playing Skyrim, so that shit's going to be loud today. Oh my god! Basically, I, I, yeah, it's 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 Skyrim. We sell our soul all the time. Well, it's Elder Scrolls. We sell our soul all the time because we're dealing with gods left and right, and most of the gods are dicks. It's like Mount Olympia. <laughs> oh, I, I was awake. I was awake. It was just, I just, yeah, thanks. <sighs> what, what if I don't want to go to my altar, huh? You ever think about that? Maybe if I want to leave. Maybe I don't want to be part of this nonsense. Maybe I changed my mind. Did that ever occur to you? Okay, fine. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Merc, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Oh, now you speak loud. Ah, oh, Carlia. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? Pretty much. I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? Us? I have two others that wish to transact the oath, to serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Carlyle. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very Tis well. Another day. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlyle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Uh, where's your wrath towards the guy that did betray you? It's not her fault yet, bitch god. Jeez. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the gods of this we've met so far are just like assholes. I'm doing pretty good, Valiant. I, uh, I'm doing better now that I took now the week off. Now you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. So it wasn't betraying everybody. He's done more? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. Ah, so By this is this game. This, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal, and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. So the key unlocks any door. Okay, wait, hold up. Why wasn't the goddess mad at him? 
he betrayed her and ever okay whatever <sighs> yeah i was wondering how they were going to integrate the skeleton key to this one well yes but the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers all of us possess untapped abilities the potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. So I become a god of unlocking all doors, walls, anything that's in my way. Got it. Cool. The guild should possess this item. The three of us could keep it. Sounds like no one should possess it. Good. Then you understand why this is about more than just Mercer's lust for power. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. First time I ever set out to return something. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Let's go. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. So, in the Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Here I was honestly expecting it to be something else. Like, oh hey, we're about to do this final quest that's critically important to solve all these problems, but I need you to go do a side quest really quick. I was honestly expecting that. <laughs> Wait, no, stop, get back here, we're talking. Listen, lad, there's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Why tell this to me? Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived Let me here. guess. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result... We both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. Me? What about you? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do. Maybe even one of the best. But it's all I know. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it. Never cared for it. Don't want it. That's why you'd be a good leader. Because <laughs> you don't want it. I don't know what to say. It's about time you asked. No, it's not right. Look, everyone in the guild admires what you've done. Maybe they won't come out and simply tell you, but I promise you it's true. And now they know Mercer never genuinely cared about the guild. He lacked the loyalty you obviously possess. I can't think of anyone better. You're not giving me a choice about this, are you? you, you you're gonna make me be the leader of this shit, aren't you? Mm-hmm, I, I see how it is. I, I have viewers to talk to. I'll, I'll give you shit in one more second. Until next we meet, lad. You, we, dude, we, we were in the middle of a conversation. You didn't even let me finish. You sit there and let me discuss this with my audience. You, you're rude. All right. And if Zerilos ever actually messages again, because I, I know he's, like, doing this while questing in games, so... Hey, we were talking. Listen, lad. There's one you, last you piece of I, I was trying to, to talk to you, and you Come walked away in the Thanks middle of our conversation. As I can think of anyone better. I can. I don't know what to say because I don't want the job. <laughs> well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. I accept, because you're not giving me the choice. Then it's decided. When this is all over, and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim. We'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. <laughs> I know you will, Jane. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Then. I've been pouring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthand. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. <laughs> Oh, of all the things about me I could be known for, why did it have to be the voice? Alright, uh, do you think we stand a chance against Mercer? I guess we're Nightingales now. I guess we'll ask the question first. If you would have asked me that yesterday, I'd have said no. But now I think our chances have improved. Look, call me crazy if you like, but I trust Kalaya. I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path. Besides, I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade and spend the rest of my life regretting that I'd run the other way. Good point. 
Guess we're nightingales now. Aye. And some of what Carlyas said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, but this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. Yep. Now you can walk away. Until next we meet, lad. I'm done with you. You may go. <laughs> so let me just stagger back out of this cave and pull the rainbow dagger out of my spine that Jane lovingly put there. <laughs> Now, to be fair, my, my issue with my voice is the fact that, you know, to some degree, a lot of people either just get used to or don't like hearing their own voice just because it always sounds different than, what, than it actually does in your head. For me, after doing five years of YouTube now, I, I got used to my voice. But for the longest time, I hated editing my own videos. I couldn't stand my voice. But why am I going here? This is not the... Why am I going to Riften? I thought we were going to some Dwarven ruins. That's not the map key. I, I, you son of a... Alright, we'll just go to Wrath Blethar, or however the hell you say that. But... Why are you telling me to leave? And for once, my horse didn't scare the hell of me. Now, ain't this a surprise? Oh, you're a bandit. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Here, I thought you were a real threat. Test Goodbye. Go Try and fight back. I won't just try, I'll skewer you like a lobster. How do you like me now? Alright, where's this other bandit? I see a health bar, where is he? Hello? Wrath before. Oh, wait, I'm not going here, god damn it, I just meant to shortcut here. Whoops. I actually need to add more sound effects for- Whoa, shit! Watch that first step! I think we found the ruins! Holy hell! Good lord! I didn't think that... I... I didn't realize the cliff just kind of went right off the edge like that. I thought it was going to slant down a little more. Can I get to an angle where this isn't going to, like, kill my ass? Oh good, we can just jockey down the hillside. Perfect! Don't think we're supposed to be all the way up here! Oh, ow! That was nothing! You didn't hear shit! You didn't hear a guy suddenly scream in pain because he landed on his ass. It's fine. Holy shit. This will just slaughter our way through these people. Am I not sp okay, that's the way in. Where's Was I supposed to have like totally gone around and jockeyed my way up here? Hold on, I'm coming! Oh, I can't swing on the way down. I forgot about that. It's part of that whole not jumping while running thing they added to the game. I hate that they gimped that in this one. I really do. Ugh. Oh, crap. I like... Hold up, hold up, hold up. I like fell way behind on chat. Hold on. I'm not used to this many people talking at once. Hey, lag. Uh, can I give a shout out for boy lag, too? I don't know, Val. You know, I wouldn't say your voice is, uh... Wow, now I'm trying to figure out a way to describe it. <laughs> and suddenly, like, eight billion different independent streamers that I know are flooding through my brain, and I can't remember your voice, and I feel like a complete and utter asshole all of a sudden. God damn it. No, your your voice actually struck me as being good. I, I, I remember your voice sounding good, and for the life of me, I can't... Re I know too many fucking streamers now. Oh, my God. Horses can scale slopes. You can't. <laughs> Stumbled. I almost fell into it. <laughs> All right. I'm reading. Go away. You. Go away. I killed that man by hitting him in the head with the hilt of my sword. Oh, crap. Yeah. Uh, which is on mobile, and because of the internet she has, sometimes it gets wonky. Okay, so what, I... Crash, can you say, like, like anything in chat? I want to check something. And, you know, I'm, I, I don't want to have to alt-tab out to scroll back up. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoyed them. So you all take care of yourselves, and if you want to see more of me, queue up the video on the list, or stay tuned for more. 
Feel free to leave a comment below. Please remember to take that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.